Today, we're going to see how you can make your WordPress website multilingual. Let's say you have a website, and, you want to give your visitors an option to view your site in their preferred languages. You can do that easily by watching this video. So, after watching this video, you will be able to add a translate option like this on your website. Now, when someone clicks on it, they will be able to choose a language and your site will be translated to their preferred language. OK. And let's get started. First, let's see the website which I built using WordPress. Now, to make our WordPress site multilingual, we're going to do two steps. The first step is to install the G-Translate plugin in WordPress. So, to install the plugin, in, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Now go to Plugins, and click Add New. Here. Search for a plugin called G-Translate, and, you will get this plugin. Now, this is the plugin, which will help us translate our into multiple languages. So, to install this plugin, let's click Install Now, and then click Activate. Now, we have successfully installed the G-Translate plugin in WordPress. OK, we can go to the second step, which is to add the Translate option to your website. So, to add the Translate option, just click settings and here select the languages in which you want your visitors to view your website so i'm going to select the languages okay now once you have selected the languages next you need to choose where you want to display the translate option on your website so to choose that just click here now if you want to display the translate option on your menu like this select primary menu and click save changes now the translate option will be added to our website and our visitors can easily view the site in their preferred languages. So, to check that, let's go to our site and click refresh. Now, you can see that we have got the translate option on our site. If a visitor clicks here and selects a language, you can see that our site has been translated to that particular language. OK, this is how you can make your WordPress website multilingual and let your visitors view the site in their preferred language. Next, let's see how you can add this translate option to your footer section, like this. So, to add the translate option to the footer, Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Now, go to Appearance, then, click on Widgets, and it will take you to this page. Here, you can see the footer section. Now to add the Translate option to your footer. You type G-Translate in the search box and select it here. And as you can see, the G-Translate widget is added. Click Update, and the Translate option will be added to your footer section. Now. If we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have got the translate option in our footer section. So, now you know how to make your WordPress website multilingual. Next, let's say a person from France wants to view your website. Now, by default, their browser language will be French, but when they visit your site, it will be in English. Now, instead of making the visitor select the language as French manually, what if you want to automatically change it? to the visitor's preferred language, which is French. So, next, let's see how you can automatically translate your website to the viewer's browser language. So, to do that, let's go, let's go back to our plugin settings. Here, we have an option to automatically switch our website to the browser language. So, let's click here to enable the option and then click Save Changes. Now, the visitors will be able to view your site in their default browser language. Let's say a visitor who has French as their browser language wants to visit your site. If they go to their browser and enter our domain name, you can see that our site has been automatically translated to French without selecting it manually. Next, let's see how you can display the languages in their native names like this. So, to display the languages in their native names, let's go to our plugin settings. Now, select this option to show the native language names, and then click Save Changes. Now, let's go back to our website and click Refresh. Now if we click here, you can see that the languages are displayed in their native names. OK. Now, to make this option more clear and user-friendly, we can display the country flags next to the language names, like this. So, to do that, let's go back to our plugin settings, and, go here. Now, to display the flags, just select this option, and then click Save Changes. So, to check that, 
Let's go to our website, and click refresh. Now click here, and, you can see that, the flags are displayed next to the language names, and, it makes the option look more clear, and user friendly. Ok, so, that's it. Guys, this is how you can make your WordPress website multilingual. If you like this tutorial then, comment in my videos and, subscribe to my channel to get the, notification in the next tutorials. Thank you for your time.